On this worksheet, I have a cell where I can enter the current temperature, and I'd like that cell to change color based on that temperature. So if it's very hot, it should be red. If it's very cold, it should be blue, and in between shades of red to blue. I don't want to have to set up a lot of conditional formatting rules here. Excel has some color scales, and I'm going to use those instead. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a list of all the possible temperatures that it could hit in this area. So starting at a very high number that I hope it never reaches, I'm going to type 140 and then below that 130 and I'll go down. So I'll select those two cells and drag down until we get to minus 50. I don't think it's ever gotten that cold here and I hope it never does, but this gives us a good range of temperatures. So I want this cell to change color along with these other cells if I apply conditional formatting. I don't want two cells that have the same value though. So if it's 80 degrees, I don't want to have two 80s in my color scale because that would affect things. So in the adjacent column, I'm going to put in a formula that will have an empty string here if it's the same temperature as what I entered on the worksheet. So in this cell, I'm going to type an if formula equals if, open bracket, and then I'll check this cell, and I'm going to press the F4 key to lock that cell reference. And if that cell equals this cell, comma, an empty string, so nothing will show up here. Then another comma, then I'll check to see if it's between this number and a number above it. And to do that, I'll use another if formula, if, open bracket, and open bracket. This number, press the F4 to lock that, is greater than the current row, comma, then click the temperature cell again, press F4 to lock it. Now we want to check and see if it is less than the number above. Close that bracket. So if it does meet both of those conditions, comma, show an empty string, comma, and then if it's neither equal to this or between this and the number above, show this number. We'll close with two brackets, press enter. Now I'm going to select that cell, point to the fill handle and double click to copy that formula down. We can see that here it's equal to 80, so the 80 isn't showing. And if I change this to 95, now the 90 isn't showing here because this number is between 90 and 100. And the final step will be to apply conditional formatting. So I'm going to select the temperature cell, press the control key, and select all the cells with these temperatures. On the ribbon, on the home tab, click conditional formatting, color scales. And there's a variety of different color combinations. Usually I think of red for hot and blue for cold. So I'll click that and we can see that all these cells are colored and it has ignored the missing one. We're seeing dark pink color for 95. If I type 30, it gets into the blue tones. If I type minus 20, it's a darker blue. Now these colors are fairly muted. So if you'd like brighter colors, you can adjust the conditional formatting. So I'll click Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, and here's that rule with the color scale. So with that selected, I'll edit the rule, and here are the colors. And I could select darker blue, and for red, instead of that muted color, you could go with a really bright red, and click OK, and OK, and that gives you a brighter range of color. So if I change the temperature to 120, the cell turns a bright red. Then to finish the worksheet, you could hide these two columns so this scale isn't visible. I'll select the two columns, right click and hide. So now just the temperature is visible and this color still changes when you adjust the temperature. For more Excel tips and tutorials and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.